Hi, this is Gary from uh, Texas uh, Zone 9A, uh, 8B, according to which uh, site you look at. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about if you're going to be growing garlic in like 9B or lower or higher, whichever, whichever way you want to look at it, warmer. Uh, garlic does not grow good down here for the fact that we do not get enough chill hours. We just, it just doesn't get cold enough, you know, for the for the garlic to believe it's went through the, through the cold weather. But one thing we can grow down here, it does really well, it's called elephant garlic. It's technically a leek, but it, it's, you can treat it just like a garlic. It tastes like a, a mild garlic. It comes in these really large cloves. Now these cl cloves I've gotten at uh, HEB, it's a uh, kind of a Texas grocery store. Uh, the one bulb cost about four four dollars and something this year. It was two ninety nine a couple of years ago, but you know it's everything's went up since then. And how you plant your gar how you plant the garlic? If you take out this stupid little deal to protect everybody, and I'm planting it in a raised bed, and you're gonna break across all the cloves. And the cloves are really big. You do want to make sure it's just one clove. I have sometimes planted some. And thought it was a couple of cloves and turned out I thought it was one clove and it turned out to be two and they don't make good garlic that way you want to have its own space because garlic does not like to be crowded you want to make sure that the tip end this here is pointed up because that's where the sprouts gonna come to and this bottom down here is where the roots gonna come out of so just make sure you plant the right way and just dig down in your soil you want to make sure that it's you know all the way in the ground and then just cover it up i'm going to plant about ever six inches or so this here's my buckwheat uh i'll put this along this edge and that's a weed and i'll leave some of it just for uh the pollinators really like it like i say just dig down Break the cloves apart. There's going to be one clove here, another clove here, and it's got a smaller clove there. So see, that this is the one that's kind of you got to be careful of because okay, here's one here, and you get it looks like all one clove, but you get in here and look at it. That's a clove and that's a clove. So each each one of those will make a plant. So if I plant the whole thing, I'd have four or five of them growing up. This one here is kind of you know it looks the same size, but it's just one clove. And here's a really big clove here which you hope makes really big garlic. And this is the one that's really a big clove. Uh, but like I said, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This may not, I guess it's still gonna be a clove. So I got eight cloves out of it. So I'll go ahead and plant those. Uh, and anyway, that's how you plant the, uh, plant the garlic. Main thing, if I was gonna do it, uh, is just get the elephant garlic, where not you buy from an elephant, uh, elephant garlic elephant garlic uh person that sells it for seed or just buying it from the store itself i haven't had any problems with getting those to sprout uh that's all i've ever used is, is ones i bought in the store just don't go to the store buy regular garlic and try to plant it down south it usually just doesn't work well anyway thanks for watching